This sport, abobotulinum toxin A for injection, is indicated for the treatment of adults with cervical dystonia to reduce the severity of abnormal head position and neck pain in both toxin-naive and previously treated patients. The therapeutic potential of botulinum toxins is derived from the interruption of the activity of muscles at the site of the injection. In order to activate the muscle, the brain sends electrical signals down the nerves. This electrical voltage is transmitted to the muscle by a release of chemical mediators called neurotransmitters. Looking more closely at the nerves shows them to end in complex branches. At the end of these branches, structures called nerve synapses are attached to the muscles, forming the connection between the nervous system and the muscles through the neuromuscular junctions. These junctions have two parts separated by a physical gap. One part is the nerve ending and one the muscle fiber. These junctions are very complex and have on their surfaces many different receptors for many molecules. These receptors cross through the junction surface. Inside the nerve synapse of the junction, there are many membrane-enclosed compartments called synaptic vesicles filled with the neurotransmitter chemical acetylcholine waiting for a nerve impulse signal to arrive. When the signal arrives, these vesicles bind very rapidly to the internal surface of the junction called the presynaptic membrane through a number of special proteins including one called SNAP25. The vesicles lock to the membrane through these special proteins that form a binding complex called the snare complex. They are then pulled to the inner surface of the presynaptic membrane by the structural changes in the snare complex proteins until the synaptic vesicle fuses with the membrane to form a pore and release the acetylcholine molecules. The molecules travel across the synaptic cleft to bind to their receptors on the other side of the junction. Binding of the acetylcholine to the receptor sets up another series of complex reactions, eventually leading to the muscle contraction. This sport is a prescription product containing botulinum toxin A in its complex form. Botulinum toxin is produced by Clostridium botulinum as a protein complex composed of the 150 kilodalton core neurotoxin, various imagglutinins, and a protein known as the non-toxin non-imagglutinin. Botulinum toxin A complexes dissociate very rapidly at neutral to basic pH values, resulting in a free 150 kilodalton neurotoxin and imagglutin and non-toxin non-imagglutin components. The active neurotoxin is a protein made of two peptide chains, a heavy chain and a light chain. The heavy chain is organized in two domains, a binding domain and a translocation domain. Its role is to bind to the nerve membrane for internalization of the toxin into a vesicle and to translocate the light chain from this vesicle into the nerve cytosol. The light chain is the active part of the toxin. Its role is to cleave the intracellular target of the toxin, SNAP25. Dilution of botulinum toxin A complexes with isotonic salin leads to dissociation of these complexes, resulting in the release of the free neurotoxin during the reconstitution phase prior to injection into target tissues. Injection into the targeted muscle is key.
The free neurotoxin is concentrated at the synaptic cleft by a low affinity gangliosyde binding site. Following this binding at the presynaptic membrane, the neurotoxin binds with very high affinity to a protein receptor on the surface of the junction. After binding to the presynaptic membrane protein receptor, the toxin molecule is internalized in the nerve cell into a vesicle made with the cell membrane. Once in the vesicle, the neurotoxin molecule is then transported to the target site of action. A part of the heavy chain binds to the inside of the vesicle in search of the vesicle membrane to form a pore and actively acts to transport the light chain across into the nerve cytosol. This part of the heavy chain acts as a chaperone for the light chain, the active part of the neurotoxin as it unfolds and crosses the vesical membrane. The light chain, the active part of the neurotoxin, is then released free in the cytosol in order to reach its final target, the SNAP25. The SNAP25 is the protein which is part of the normal synaptic vesicle binding apparatus for docking and fusion of the synaptic vesicle. The light chain actively cuts part of this protein. The cleaved and damaged SNAP25 on the membrane surface of the nerve cell cannot bind the other members of the snare complex, preventing the synaptic vesicles from docking and fusing with the nerve synapse plasma membrane and releasing their acetylcholine into the neuromuscular junction. As a result, the activity of the neuromuscular junction stops. The stimulus cannot reach the muscle, inhibiting its contraction. Over time, the original nerve axon forms new sprouts and synapses after the main junction is inactivated. These are believed to play some role in recovery of normal muscle function, although the exact mechanism of recovery is not yet known. Eventually, the original junction regains the ability to work again. After the action of the neurotoxin has ended, the sprouts retract and the original junction ensures normal muscle function is regained. Ipsen is a leader in the discovery and development of toxin-based therapeutics. Ipsen's unique biologics discovery and development platform synergizes with our therapeutic strength by delivering a pipeline of novel therapeutic proteins, including recombinant bacterial toxins and design-targeted secretion inhibitors into the Ipsen group.